Hey everybody, welcome back to Tavian's World of Reptiles. I hope you are all happy and healthy. Uh, so, uh, today I just kind of wanted to touch on a less than positive part of keeping reptiles or any animal in general actually you know we get these animals and we're responsible for them in every way um even making sure that they get medical attention when they need it um and i bring this up because uh artemis here uh, a little space to back up but artemis here is uh going to the vet on thursday because she has got a uh, lump on her eye and I don't know where it came from honestly it's been a little bit since I actually pulled her all the way out um, I've done spot cleans and all that but she's not inclined to come out regularly so I don't force her to um, so but uh, it had been a bit so I pulled her out today and I was looking her over and everything seemed okay until I got uh, to her eye and then I noticed that there was a hard lump there underneath it I tried to get a little video footage, but uh, uh, it wasn't the best as you saw and anyway So I immediately called and got her a uh, Appointment scheduled um, for Thursday was the earliest that I could actually get it done uh, Because at this current time I would need to wait for my next paycheck um, and that's gonna be on the 31st which actually uh, they didn't even have an appointment until that day um but so uh it worked out perfectly anyway that uh that was the appointment that was available so i would have my paycheck and be able to pay for whatever is necessary um it's going to cost me about 80 bucks just for the initial checkup and seeing what's going on and um, then plus whatever test they may have to do um on whatever this is on her eye um and then whatever medication is going to be needed so um that's just the thing you know we love our reptiles um and you know you could have a reptile for a long time and never have to go to the vet um until you do i know that for a fact i've been keeping for about over 10 years and i have probably gone to the vet with a reptile when it needed it um once once uh, and that was with the Kia Wakanda I've had times where I was on my way to the vet um, because I was like well first there was a time when I first got her uh, and it's the first biggest snake I had and she sounded wheezy and so I was going to take her to the vet but then she ended up going blue and shedding and the wheezy went away so it was just because she had loose skin on her nose um, and so I did end up canceling that appointment um, but then uh, the other time was with my uh, Columbia rainbow boa that had gotten out a long time ago and when I found her, uh, him, he was not in the good of, he was not in good health. You know, he was corkscrewing and I was going to take him into a vet, uh, but he died before I could even get him there, like the next day. Um, and so uh, that was an unfortunate situation. But when it happens, you know, you have to be willing to do what you need to do to get your animals to a vet. You can't just brush it off and say it's no big deal that they take care of themselves in the wild. They often die in the wild because things that need medical attention aren't getting it because, well, they're in the wild. So when they are our pets and they're in our care, we've got to do what we got to do uh, to make sure that they are healthy at all times. And when they are not, we need to get them medical attention so that they can keep being healthy. Now, she's not shown any signs of being like in distress, but I'm just not okay with the fact that there is now a very noticeable lump underneath her eye. Uh, it is hard. I don't know what it's from. And before it potentially turns into something worse, I want to get professionals taking a look at it and making sure uh, that it's not something super serious and if it is getting that addressed as soon as possible so if you're going to get reptiles or any pet as i said any pet you have to be willing to get it medical attention when it needs to uh all the way down to the simplest things as a rat like those are if you've taken a rat as a pet then you want to go ahead and get that rat as much medical attention as you can and yeah we know that rodents have a lot of you know a lot of medical things that happen with them over time uh but still like it, it's a commitment we take them as pets uh, they're not wild animals they should just be left to their wounds um and their sicknesses without attention uh they are they are pets and uh, we are responsible for getting them the medical attention that they need so i don't want to keep going on about it but i did just notice it so it is something that i'm 
currently a little stressed about. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, Thursday will give me some answers as to what that's about and make sure that we get uh, her back to being as healthy as we can get her being. So anyway, that's it, everybody. This is TWR. I am out. You guys take care of yourselves. Love your reptile. Love your loved ones. And you guys keep spreading those herbs.